yes it is how are you doing welcome to simnaya if this is your first time of coming across this channel sit hard kindly smash that subscribe button turn on your notifications so you are notified each time i upload and please give this video a thumb up i appreciate you all so much and i am saying a very big shout out to every one of you for all the love and support you all give me here i am grateful thank you all so much so a white person actually went on this asian woman's comments to drop this comment i am gonna leave it here and this comment say that uh the african americans didn't build this country they worked on plantations that went broke right and um i they, i have always like you know seen them do something like this when they do not want to acknowledge that like you know their land was built by them and uh, the rest of it like it's something they always want to run away from that African Americans did not build anything, and those things they built are still what you all are still benefiting from. Like there was a video I did, like African Americans or black people are not even asking you people for your apologies and all that. They are only asking you all to dismantle all the systems, all the operations, and all that that you all are benefiting from, and it is. You are benefiting and it, they are not benefiting from it, right? So she really went all out and uh, gave them what they want. Gave them what they were looking for. You know, they have been running away from reparations, but it is reparations now or never. You know what? I am just going to roll this clip. We'll come back to talk about it. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. And shut up. Here we go. Another thing that drives me crazy about comments like this is the number of people who are completely comfortable with acknowledging that chattel slavery happened, know that reparations have never been paid, and minimize the contribution that it made to building the United States, because it's nonsensical. Do you really think that white enslavers would have perpetuated an atrocious and costly system for over 400 years that nearly destroyed the entire country if they were not deriving a huge benefit from it? Because if this was just about some people working on some field somewhere, no white blood would have ever been shed over it. But the reason why we collectively do not acknowledge chattel slavery and the contribution that it made to building the United States is because then we would have to acknowledge reparations now. Because we are taught in the United States that the system of chattel slavery is something that occurred in a specific geographic region for a limited period of time, it is difficult for a lot of us to grasp what percentage of the United States financial wealth came from becoming a global leader in the trade of cotton, tobacco, and sugar. And of course, that was generated through the uncompensated labor of enslaved Africans and their descendants. It is from that wealth that investment could occur in building the rest of the United States. So when white Americans say that they know that they have ancestors who were working class and poor and who struggled to build the railroads, build buildings, worked on farms, and worked on factories, and that's what built the United States, nobody is taking away from that labor and those accomplishments and that struggle, but it's acknowledging that a significant percentage of the financial wealth that allowed for that investment, that allowed for those white workers to be paid, albeit poorly, was generated through uncompensated labor of enslaved Africans and their descendants. And it is also that failure of the United States to value labor that is why we still have so much economic crisis and so many people still struggle to make a living wage. Hope you don't think that the money made from slavery just dissolved and went up into the air. It went into companies and businesses and not even tracing and blaming those corporations. Those corporations hired people and paid their salaries and their benefits and gave them the ability to raise families and to pass wealth on through the generations. This money is what made America financially stable. The market value of slaves in 1860 was greater than the market value of every railroad, factory, and bank combined. Follow the money, because the money we're talking about all right, so this is all was about, um, huge. Somebody used to come out to like, you know, talk rubbish and ask they didn't build this country. Yo. African Americans did not build this country. You and your grandparents and your ancestors, uh, you all built it. But you know what? I know you all are always like, you know, looking for a way to run away from the truth and all that. But man, that truth, you cannot erase. It's something you cannot erase. 
so our uh, preparations now and uh, yeah this is all i got to say for this and i absolutely want to read all your comments let me know what you all think and see you all in my next video bye for now